Hey everybody, so I figured this is a good point for uh, a midway review of how things have gone so far. What we've got here is the sheet for the entire upper saucer plus the side as well. So uh, that's not too bad at all. I definitely learned a few things putting the lower saucer down first and I figure since the upper is going to be the most prominent thing on the ship I'd save that for last. Not too many real small ones here, so that'll be nice, but there are some crazy curves going on. So uh, I will have to watch out for that. Let me carefully put this aside a moment. And uh, what we got here, these are all the decals that are left for the lower saucer. Not too many and not too difficult at all. This is what's left for the secondary hull, just the hangar bay plus the pennants. And then over here are all the decals for the two nacelles. So definitely a ways to go on those. I haven't started them at all. I haven't looked around for those grills that I... It looks more like, uh, likely that I blew them onto the floor at some point. So uh, it shouldn't be too bad to find them. I'll take a look afterwards. So taking a look at the uh, ship itself, let's take a look at the lower saucer first. Definitely a lot of shine going on, and that'll disappear once the final mat goes down. That's probably a combination of not only the decals, but the solver set as well. And uh, if I can get some good highlights going here, you can definitely see that the solver set really sunk the decals not only into the grooves, but around the phaser banks as well. And those will show off a lot better once I get those decals on. And uh, I can show you on the lower hull pretty well as, good, as well. There are a couple blemishes in here and that's my fault because there are a couple particles of dust that I left on the hull, such as uh, that guy right there dead center. So the solver set is not only good for getting things to snug down into panel lines, but it's also good for showing off any problems like dust hits. Another issue I had was there were a couple points where part of the uh, ID numbers on the decals floated onto the decal itself. And uh, that little black speck is burned in there now. There's no getting around that. As far as the placement goes of these decals, they went down pretty good overall. There were a couple that I dropped a little too low, like uh, this guy right here. That should be snugged up a little further. And if I'll put this into the light here, you can definitely see that a few of these go over the side of the edge a little too farther than they should whereas these go just about right to the point where they belong. Lining them up is pretty nice because of all the panel lines. That really helps you show what's going on. I guess I just wasn't paying as close attention to these parts as I was when uh, I was doing all the rest of them. These blue ones here in the center go down really well because the, the uh, panel lines are scribed right to their shape. So that was real handy. It looks like I actually missed a little on this blue side here. That little blue tape in there is to hold the uh, impulse crystal down, but I really should have just glued that. So the remaining decals, they all go on uh, that bit there, the phasers, the thrusters, and the various windows. The one disappointing thing is that there's a lot of panel squares in here, such as uh, these two, a couple right there they don't have decals. I don't know why uh, round two would have insisted those parts be painted rather than simply providing a few squares of color but uh, that's the way that goes. I'm leaving it as is. Apart from the white and black that I did for this kit I'm not painting anything basically. Well the uh, grills there for the, uh, the brass color that's pretty much required but there are a few other parts that I should have painted but I did not. So uh, that's the way that goes, and that's the way this kit will be. So we got a little ways to go on the upper saucer. I was looking around for some dust hits on that, and I tried scratching one off, and uh, I got that blemish to deal with now, unfortunately, but I'm going to leave that and proceed ahead. Let's take a look at the secondary saucer, which is definitely the star of the show so far. So I should be able to get a pretty good view once the focus kicks in of how the solver set really snugs the decals down to those phaser banks and right here around uh, whatever that, probably a landing light of some sort. And you can also see a couple wrinkles in here, right? Let me uh, try and thumbnail those away, not quite. One of them looks like it might be one of the brush's uh, hairs, so that's in there forever now. But if you don't catch it from a certain light, you definitely don't see it at all. 
So uh, this decal in particular was definitely a tough one to go down. There is no direction listed for it and the graphic on the directions is not, uh, it does not match the uh, decal itself. So I just kind of guessed and lucked out with getting that down right. These uh, two bottom ones, actually all the lower hull here went down really nice and smooth overall. The sides as well, getting uh, everything to position in place with the airlock there, that was a little tough. Over here around the sensor ring or deflector ring or whatever it is, uh, those went down pretty good. And This is another example where the solver set really snugged those down tight. The uh, decals that go over this little nibble here, those uh, didn't look like they were going to go down too easy, but they really snug down in the end. So let's flip this over and take a look here. Since all the windows are black on this, essentially I'm doing this as a shutdown version, so I didn't paint the uh, crystal in there, the deflector or sensor. Uh, up here, everything definitely looks pretty good. I don't know if the red is going to show off how well that snugged down into that panel line, but it really did a great job there. And over here, the uh, engineering green sections, those went down pretty good. I had thought that there was no blue on the refit and it was all engineering green, but I'd say these de decals here and uh, on the outside of the pylon, I'd say those are definitely uh, blue. This decal here was the first to go down and it was definitely the toughest and it's still slightly off registration. This was, no matter how much I wet it or put the solve set down, it was just really difficult to get it in place and finally I just kind of did a good enough sort of thing with it. And then this decal itself also went down pretty uh, toughly and the registration is slightly off but it's not so bad that it's going to be hugely noticeable. These pylons are definitely tough ones to uh, get registered because once they grip down they really want to stay and don't want to go anywhere. Over on this side, everything's pretty good. It, this blemish here, that was uh, entirely my fault early on, and I decided to roll with it, thinking that the decals were white with uh, patterning over them, not transparent. So I thought that was going to be hidden. I should be able to fix that down the road, but uh, it's nothing I'm worried about right now. It almost looks like an extra window, but really it's just damage. So over here on the hangar deck, that's where the rest of those decals have to go. So, uh... I guess that's pretty much it for this midpoint review. What I'm going to do now is probably finish off the secondary hull. Uh, the saucer, this may be dry enough to be able to start putting those other ones down. Yeah, what the heck, go for it. And then uh, I'll deal with at least one of the nacelles next uh, before getting on to the upper saucer because this has to pretty much really be nice and secure before I can flip this around and really start manipulating it and a lot of water is going to drip down to the lower side so I want to make sure this is in good shape I may even seal it first I don't know about that I'll think about it as we go along so uh, that's it for this midpoint review let's get some uh, more decals going